Everybody? Our vision to build a fast, eco-futuristic, enjoyable airport for the world traveler. Our customers are mainly 80% of the business world people, 20% of the family people. So we want to make sure that we build it in such a way that it is focused for both the customer people. Our team consists of myself, Venki, Lodmia, Jay, Jay, and Satya. Why Satya is not there? She is the scribe taking the Oh, okay, that's okay. We have identified a couple of innovation areas and the priority in which we have described based on the demand that you guys already gave me. Number one, gain connection, high comfort, security, safety, parking. I do know that your parking is least priority, but I just wanted to give you the high level picture so that you understand where we want to proceed from the top to bottom. I want to introduce Lumbia to describe more about the gate connection. We always remember that uh, uh, save your time as a traveler is very important. So what we are going to do with it is like like fully automatic um, baggage handling, which uh, means uh, you will not uh, take care of your baggage after you uh, log in. So I mean check in until your final destination. So and. Um, we provide to again save your time as a traveler in the uh, gate connection um, air trains in uh, international area or domestic area or in between areas. So not in uh, not for but in, uh, all these trains are av available. In addition, if you need to like gate from um, to go travel from one gate to other, which is closer uh, to each other, so you just go walk or. Uh, use horizontal escalators to, like, if you are too lazy or you need to come there uh, faster. In addition, um, to save your time, um, we are tracking all, like, m more, um, sort, uh, like, more uh, frequent fly, uh, flights and flight connections to keep them together so uh, people could. Um, arrive their destinations um, like faster. And in, in addition, in everywhere in airport, you can use automation um, information system, which includes uh, smart displays. Uh, and they uh, we also provide <laughs> the, um, in this uh, display, you can choose your language or uh, the virtual assistant who can help you uh, show you where, yes? Yeah, actually like uh, this, slide I have question so you said automatic baggage handling so today we have a automated baggage handling so how will you your uh, enhancement going to help us uh, to benefit what's the benefit you are providing on this so because you don't need to you don't need to worry about what where you uh, need to bring this uh, baggage uh, to like um, after check in you mean you don't need to go through um, this area in connection, I mean, when you should uh, bring your baggage back and for um, security check and then uh, pass this back again, uh, baggage again to the next flight or like in this um, connection question, uh, in this connection area. So mainly it's that carry-on baggage, mm -hmm. well, let, me give uh, you an example. let me give you an example. So let's say you are traveling between different terminals. In a lot of cases, let's say you're traveling between international and domestic flights where you have to take your baggage out, go through customs, and then we check your baggage in. So we're hoping that we can build a system where you don't have to go through the next step of getting the bags out and putting them back in the same process. And we're reducing the uh, people, uh, waiting for the baggage to come back this uh, smart display and you can choose virtual assistant who just can show you and you can choose uh, language, gender, or <laughs> the person who is uh, actually helping you. So, and this is not just because of 
but um, and uh, but understanding where you should go or what you need, but it, this is convenient uh, too. So about convenience and the comfortable, <laughs> Jay will tell us our next slide. Right, so hopefully your gate connections are taken care of perfectly. Everything's quick and fast. Uh, what we found out was that even though it's only 20% of family travelers, uh, most of the complaints are coming from them. Uh, and a few areas that we found out was there are, for example, there is no family restrooms. So we plan to increase that. Uh, for example, we plan to add a kids' play area lounge where you get a lot of the kids go and figure out whether you want to change your flight or do something to it, and then go pick up your kids and go on your flight. Uh, also, we found out that because we're targeting the, the airport is supposedly going to be built in Latin America, where the dominant language is Spanish. A lot of the travelers coming in would not know the language. Uh, we would need special interpreters to translate from their current language to Spanish and vice versa. Uh, also, talking to the stakeholders, we found that uh, a lot of the people are coming in from the Middle East where there are special restrictions for diet, there are special restrictions for prayers, uh, certain times when people need to go and pray. So we're planning to provide all that benefit to all the tourists and all the business people that come to uh, The other thing that we thought about was uh, since uh, another issue that uh, came up was long layovers. Uh, in case there are long layovers, then you want to provide, uh, for example, a hotel at the airport itself, that way you don't have to go out and come back in and go through the same security process over and over again. Uh, and in case where you don't want to spend <coughs> much money on an air, on a airport hotel, uh, what we were thinking of providing was something called a sleep box, where it's way cheaper, it's small, so you can have a lot of sleep boxes. Uh, you just pay minimal amount, uh, get your sleep, and you know, we provide amenities for taking a shower, etc. Do you have and to wear your pajamas or I can do <laughs> <laughs> You can do whatever you want, it's yours. <laughs> uh, as far as it's not required. <laughs> the, uh, and of course, you can customize the sleep box depending upon your family or, or individual persons. Uh, also, a lot of the people, sure. How secure your sleep box would be for a woman traveler, for example? Uh, we, I mean, I'm sure... Maybe locked from inside. Uh, well, there'll be locks from inside. You could always provide separate, <laughs> separate men and women secure areas. Too. And family. Um, How you Sorry. And family. Area. And family, yes, of course. Have you thought about claustrophobic people? I mean, this looks really small. It does, I yes, I agree. Really uh, what the but like, like I said, we, like I said, we can we can provide a family style area which will be much bigger than this little box. Uh, you will be given that option when you go to go and. Book your little room. But that still will be a box. So it'll be a, the goal here is it's, it's the same as a hotel room. I mean, so the room, room is also a box. It's just so bigger box. I yes. see that you have an airport hotel also and mm -hmm. you have these boxes yes. also. Yep. I mean, uh, is it that redundancy? Uh, the, the it's all about cost. Yes. Right? At the end of the day, there are people who don't want to pay $100 for one night in a hotel. Mm -hmm. So if you can provide something like this for $20 a night or $10 a night. Or can stay just for a couple of hours. Or for a few hours. Yes. Our and targeted customer in this airport, we have 80% of the business people, where they are, they are okay to stay, stay in the airport hotel at a higher premium rate, right? But we don't have 20% of the family people, we want to capture them. Right? Also and the fact the that rate. we are targeting for the World Cup, there will be a lot of, I would say, uh, middle class people who are traveling. And then this probably would be one of the good solutions for them. Uh, and of course, we haven't forgotten about the business travelers. Uh, since 80% of the travelers are business, uh, we would be providing certain conference rooms with high-speed connectivity, uh, with uh, additions for audio-video conferencing, so that they can do their work if needed in a quiet and safe environment. So I'll be handing off next to Vijay to cover the security and safety portion. So uh, the first two slides were heavily focused on uh, things that are in our control. Even though safety and security is coming at a third place, it's not a lower priority. It's just that where we have more control, we want to invest more money and make improvements. This is a place where we need to work with external agencies. We want to work with federal departments. We'll, we'll need to work with the fire departments, uh, the local level. 
So the goal here is the area that we want to do more and more is doing uh, regular drills. We want to be prepared for natural, uh, natural disasters. We are, for example, here in Seattle, we are in an earthquake prone zone. We, we uh, live close to a, a, a volcano, active volcano. So how do we uh, prepare and react to those kind of natural uh, disasters? And also, we've had uh, uh, instances where the national departments, the federal departments, they visited us, did undercover operations, trying to smuggle goods. And we want to do that at our level. We don't want to be caught off guard. We want to do it as well. I think we were building this airport in Latin America, not in Seattle. Yes. Yeah, that, but that but was just giving an example of what the natural disasters could be. Sir, are there none in Brazil which you could talk about? Disasters? Yeah, natural uh, disasters. Yeah, flooding, flooding, flooding is one of them. Even, even sometimes I, I see in the video that the football match is done, the entire crowd goes and involved in the vandalism, right? What, what kind of schedule are you planning on doing this? So, uh, like I said, we have to work with the external departments. It's what TSA does. It's what nationally we have uh, the guidelines that we are given to follow. I mean, uh, we have to do it. We have to do it when the customers are there. So, if but what is the regular? Why does it have to be a regular bill? So if you cannot predict the uh, uh, market conditions. You cannot, uh, so there could be certain uh, kind of uh, issues that come during uh, winter season. There could be some kind of issues that happen. For example, this is a uh, uh, airport that's going to be built to cater and be ready for a sports event. So there could be a terrorist uh, 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 attack during uh, that kind of event. So the regularity is to uh, you know, be prepared and anticipate uh, kind of attacks or disasters that can happen uh, depending on the uh, time of the year or... Uh, and we let me add on top of it, right? We do not do the regular perform, and when the need comes, and if we do not execute on what is being documented, what the pro established procedures are there, you are in trouble. Right, like if I'm a traveler, I'm in a hurry, particularly I'm late for my flight, came into the other places, and I got caught in the middle of a regular drill, what, how, how much extra time is that taking? What if I mention this thing that's going to That's a good life? question. But we will make sure that it is not impacted to the, the regular travel. Okay. So I think I'll, I'll give you a little bit feedback on that. <clears throat> this is where that fact-finding, probing skill can come into play. Uh, you answered a lot of things, both of you. And I think you satisfied him 80, 90%. But that was in the last two sentences. For seven, were spent because you didn't understand this question. So you may have, rather than answering, you could have said, what regular drill? How it impacts you? Tell me. Then you could have said, I'm a regular traveler. I don't want you to be doing drills while I'm, in, I'm getting late. Oh, we won't impact you. Who on? Third sentence, answer is done. So if somebody is asking question, probe. Why they are asking? Where they are coming from? Before you answer, don't assume. The words that he used is the meaning of his question. Go ahead. Sure. The other suggestion on top of what Himanshu just said with respect to answering Q and A, is it's also possible from the from the team that the one question can hijack your presentation altogether. That that can be going back and forth. So when as a presenter, when you answer the question to that individual, start with that individual and turn around. As long as you stick with your with that person, engaging with that one person, your presentation will be hijacked. Move on. Just go to go eye contact with me somewhere else. Start with there and then end with that person. Move on. And uh, the second part of uh, the improvement is enhancing the passenger security checks, uh, improving on. Uh, we our primary goal is to make the gate connection faster, make the traveler get in and then uh, uh, get out of the airport as fast as possible. So uh, we want to enroll in the TSA uh, pre check find out what, what the airport needs to do in order to be prepared uh, for that kind of a, a, a requirement. And also provide a family, a improved family screening. As you can see on the picture, the go focus is being put on the family to check small infants, while there is a time bomb that's passing through the security uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, baggage area. So kind of uh, finding ways how to make a, a focus on real threats and not uh, spend too much of time on small trivial things. And of course, 80% uh, of our uh, customer base is all business travelers. We want to work with local businesses and find out how can we make, uh, improve their security check experience. So that's 
So with that, I'm going to move on to the parking uh, presentation that uh, Becky has. <clears throat> with respect to parking, I understand that we have a problem with respect to the parking in congestion and we want to make it faster. I have two categories I want to present here. One is, there are a few things that we can do from our side. There are a few things that I want to work with the partners. Partners could be city government, partners could be vendors. I want to also make sure that I reward them for their innovation. So I'm giving the open suggestion to the partners so they can participate in the program. For example, a cab driver who has electric car, he wants to enter into the my airport, right? I want to give them the credit. I want to give some extra credit or maybe some kind of program. So they they are encouraged. So which means my goal. I will have a fast, eco-friendly, futuristic, yet enjoyable airport. This is what I want to provide for you guys. Thank you. Good job. Yeah.